Hey people, happy COVID-19 day. I've been trying to get this out for a while. You could see all my pages I got saved up on top. But uh, I'm going to talk some about the Nephilim. And, uh, and they say it only comes up three times in the Bible. But you can see it's actually three different words here. And it actually comes up uh, many, many more times. The same word, Nephilim. And it means the deserters. The fallen, to fall. Deserters, somebody who deserted their post. But I'm going to start here with something a little more important. Uh, this old Dr. Shiva Bright guy, he's the one who invented email back when he was 14. And... Uh, and he's running for his seat in uh, in Massachusetts, and uh, I believe I'd I'd vote for him if I was in Massachusetts. But he says uh, this is really about immune health. This is the fact that we don't get enough vitamin D, we don't get enough vitamin A, we don't get enough vitamin C. I mean, there's other things, but we can focus on those three things. In Chad, in African country of Chad and D Djibouti, I forget how to pronounce it. There's only been one COVID case and only one, no deaths. Why is that? Well, because people live probably lives that we should probably think about living. They're out in the sun. They're, you know, digging up roots. We may consider these people third world, but we almost have to reconsider what the hell does it mean to be in a first world country if we're filled with toxins, filled with these kinds of mandates, our kids are eating garbage. When you eat high sugar diets, your body produces candida, it knocks down your, you know, uh, certain gliotoxins, which, um, which essentially um, knock down your macrophages and your T cells, two important cylinders in your immune system. So what we're doing is we're basically destroying the immune health of our people. So the solution is pretty simple. At least get out in the sun. If you can't do that, you got to boost up on vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. Vitamin D. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing a video on this to sh explain this to people literally creates through, uh, through a set of pathways uh, uh, very interesting molecules which are the fuel to your macrophages which well, I take I take vitamin D every day you got you got to do that I mean look uh, I can tell you what I would do you know from the medical advice everyone should go and talk to their doctors but the problem is they don't know a lot. Um, but you know, five to 10,000 I use is not a bad thing to do if you're not out in the sun all the time, which we're not daily. Yeah, um, I take I take about five to 10,000 depending on, you know, the, the, the style, either it's a droplet or it's a pill and the pill has some uh, probiotics built into it. Uh, yeah, Dr. Vitamin Mayor A. Eisenstein was the one who turned me on to vitamin D years ago. Who is that? The late Dr. Mayor Eisenstein. I said, look, where is vitamin A come from? The dark, rich, vegetables and fruits, okay? And where does vitamin D come from? The sun. So it's like basic, basic stuff. Fruits and vegetables, get some sun, okay? Well, if, if we're living in households where we're not getting sun, we're not getting fruits and vegetables, and we have a depleted culture for 25 years, and we have Monsanto, you know, driven, uh, uh, you know, food, uh, which basically those pesticides affect the gut microbiome, which throw our gut off, and then we're eating high sugars. I mean, it's a recipe for death, but we're not addressing that. We're like hyping up this virus, fear mongering it, fear mongering it, fear mongering it. And what is the result? You have people hiding out in homes, people getting ready to accept fascism and people not addressing the fundamental issue, which is immune health. So contrary to popular belief, uh, milk is not a, a source of vitamin D. Milk is enriched with vitamin D. It was uh, something they pushed back in the 40s to, to start pushing milk. But your best vitamin D, we're looking at like a capsule like this. And he's saying, uh, isn't it wrong to take five to 10,000 units a day and getting out in the sun and uh, get your immune system back in order to help fight this flu it's just a flu it's not worse than any other flu it's just a little different
so this this nephilim it uh and people think it's giants and that's just the king james version but actually every other time it says giants in the in the bible the, the word it comes from is is government the govern the govern and uh and you can see here is this the sons of Anak. Anak O N Q Ankh men. And then uh and it has the tack. My lip reads backwards, my lip in the nipple from. This is your your Ankh men. The giants toting the onk so um this word comes up uh another eight times here the same exact word e n p l i and and uh you can see that the that the uh vowel points those aren't vowel points that's a total different code it uh it doesn't match up with what they say is vowel points. I haven't, I haven't studied that yet because it, it just it wasn't in there. The uh, the original Bible looked like this. It didn't have those vowel points, and you can see here it's the the nippleum n p l i m the nippleum. The, the giants were on the earth in those days and that's not what that says but but yeah the the Bible it's a proven fact that it was written here first and that block style Hebrew came out later and the vowel points didn't come out for another four or six hundred years after that and so they're they're not necessary in order to read this but it it's coming from this uh, this root word NPL and you can see it here will W L M E N P L will manipul manipulate it comes from the word manipulate and you can see here that they, they give all these different words and it just has well, in fact, this AL is, is, uh, well, this is OL. Oh, uh, so they put it here one time, but it comes up many, many times, and they say it means on. But, uh, all the rest of them have this PL in common. And a lot of them with the NPL. But there's many, many words that they say mean fall. And pull, P-U-L-L, -L, is, a, is a better word to manipulate. You know, you take you some clay and pull it around and shape it and manipulate it to create something. Manipulate. You can see it here in uh, 2 Samuel 1.26. The mad, they give very. And that's like, uh, you see the L-Y here. L-I, L-Y. If the L-Y came after the mad, it would be madly. And that would be very. Like you're madly in love, you know, very much. But this is the lie made manipulate N P L A T E made manipulate to made manipulate and they're giving it the meaning wonderful and it's actually what you do you you manipulate uh, the seeds uh, to make the to make the the plant produce better, prettier fruit. You manipulate, make it wonderful. Manipulate, and here it is, uh, ending with an I A T Y. 
manipulative. My miracles, my wonders in call. And, uh, and so this is uh, looking like giants here. So I will stretch out my hand. So the word for stretch out is usually net. Uh, N-E-T. You can see that the N is fish or seed. And the fish... And then E, he is, is the life, means life, V. And then the T in net would be this tet. And it means to gather, to collect, to net, N-E-T, the fish life gather is to net. And they usually give that the meaning they usually give that the meaning stretch out but this uh, too salty too to sail SLH is usually a word they give the meaning and he went or travel to sail to sail tie to salty to and then it has a has a tack so this is the yod he the handy or the hand handy uh, when it says smack like W E K is W A K W E K uh, W U K they usually give it the meaning strike and so it means to strike quick with the hand handy whichever hands free to whack to the hand handy to sail to to, to stretch out to the hand handy to whack it to, to, to strike and to and this word Egyptians is just not Egyptians it's uh, it's read backwards first here because of this tack and so this is M-I-R-X Myers Myers is a is an ancient word for uh, acidic an acidic lake down in the lowlands where where all your uh, where all your fertilizers would drain off from your fields into the pond those are mires and you can tell because of the plants growing around there you can tell by the look of the water that it's acidic and that's a, to the mires from the M-I-R-X mires M is from and then XRIM, Xrium. Xrium is an is which you extract out of something, an Xrium. Uh, to sift out uh, is what's taken out of. In call, B K L. B is in call. Manipulate. In, in what is what's manipulated. To raise starts with A and it reads backwards to raise what's been manipulated to the from the extreme from what's extracted out of and call of the nipulet to raise so you see it here these these three times as the Nephilim the Nephilim Giants E is the N P L I M and then, uh, and then it's here eight more times, the same word, E-N-P-L-I-M, Nippolum, the Nippolum, the deserters, the Nippolum. And then you see it here seven more times without the, without the E, it's just Nippolum falling, falling down, Nippolum. The code are, are made. This is uh, the Bing has a has attack. M D Q D M. 
made code from Nephilim from the manipule made code manipulum and so all of these words with the PL that give the word fallen it means more to pull to manipulate to, to pull it around to move it and so um and so when you're making alchemist gold alchemist isn't isn't so much uh, chemistry but it's alchemy is writing and that's what Hebrew means Hebrew is not a spoken language and and until the 19th 20th century you know they started creating it to to change people's belief when we got too smart and were able to read this and they created this language that the Jews don't even use they speak English over there today and they created this most difficult language to try to force a meaning over this but they can't read it they don't know the meaning of the the punctuation and uh, and they have to memorize the Bible because they, they can't read it because it's, it's not it's so it's it's alchemy and alchemy is a way of, of writing and so when you see the mirrors are are the uh, the tax to causing you to read something backwards you don't see the, the tax before this word here when I look at a word I always always check it out and see if anywhere it has the tack in front of it where it would read backwards and forwards so this only reads one way the nippulum to manipulum but when you're reading a, when, it, when they can put a mirror up and you can read a half a line you know forward and then backward that's called alchemist gold and you manipulated the language you change you change a, a letter just you see it one time here they just added an I where this reads backwards and forwards to to change the meaning where it still sounds the same this way from the nippleum with the I in there you know they give it the I here but in this fashion it can be read backwards and forwards and that's why you see all these words that start with A read backwards and that's so when a line is read backwards and forwards these words won't change the words that begin with the A because they'll just read backwards and so this is this A T is two in either direction you're reading from you're going to read the T first too so a Nephilim you know is a manipulated seed and uh, so the corn we eat today is is all Nephilim corn it um your high fructose corn syrup comes from a, a Nephilim corn that has uh, that produces a lot more uh, sugar. Uh, it, it's uh, has been manipulated. So I was watching Israeli News Live. I watched his program the other day, and he was talk he was talking about in the uh, in the Israeli Bible, and this was Joel three. And, uh, and and said and you should come to pass after and after afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and and shall prophecy your sons and your daughters your old men dreams shall dream the the helmet the helm what make helmet the, or the helmet make helm when dream your dreams and your young men visions to see but um it was uh yeah like i said it was in joel 3 in his bible it's in 28 and it doesn't mean that there's lines missing it's just that uh sometimes they they change uh i believe in uh in exodus there's like 15 lines shifted in in one chapter and so they change and there's several places they do that they change doesn't mean something's missing but there is there is uh lines missing in the in the Israeli Bible I'm pretty sure and I went back to read this this whole chapter here 
and uh, and even in the in their English translation, it uh, it it shows a prophecy of what's going on today, and then even more when you when you break it down and read this alchemy English. This isn't Hebrew. This is alchemical English, and it. Uh, and it shows even more and uh and I'll get into this another time but but you can see here this is the same word as Joseph J U S P it's the same spelling of Joseph you can see it here J U S P Joseph and Joseph is the dreamer to make helm H L M and had the helm and sometimes they give Joseph the word the meaning dream to make helm Joseph Hel H L U M Helm the Hallam holograph the Hallam But you see uh this word come up a lot of times and they'll give it this other meaning but every time it talks about dreams and you'll see everybody's name in the Bible like that. You'll see uh in that same paragraph, that word will probably come up and they'll give it another meaning. But that's what Joseph means, is the dreamer. To make, connect, the secrets open. J, to make, evolve, connect, S, the secrets, P, open. And, uh, and if you read this, uh, in this English, you'll, you'll see, uh, that it's kind of connecting with what's going on today and if you and if you break down this Hebrew you'll see even more so I was reading down here on on the line too and uh, and where it talks about a, a people come great and strong the like of whom and so it uh, is the home to see from is, is where you where I see you from is your home rib the the great the first in the, the home first in to oxum came to the home first in to oxum came to so oxum does mean strong o x u m is uh is the word you use in chemistry if you're going to make something stronger uh by evaporation if uh, if you take and mix some some dawn and water in a glass and mix it up and leave that glass out, you know, after several days, the water will evaporate off. That's called oxum, and it'll be and it'll leave you that strong soap in the bottom again. If you was to extract a a, a liquid out of a plant and uh, into a glass and and let the the water evaporate off that's what this means to strong to make strong by to oxum came to and I saw it again it come up down here in uh, in five and the, the cough the cough wheel a cough C Q U L a cough wheel is a noise a, a cough wheel a mark M R K mark in what a cough will mark in what all all rays all is so race it's uh it reads backwards and forwards but um but we can see it just forward here with uh, will mark a cough the cough will mark in what all race make ear from all rays uh, if you read it otherwise all is all his arise a r a s e all arise to hear from jerk jerked when and they leapt when somebody coughs today boy everybody jerks up they that's the mark in what all is arise will arise up to hear from jerk when somebody coughs everybody jerks and and looks over and then here the the coffle. and a coffle is uh is a is a dam. If you're going to build a a bridge and you need to anchor it to the bottom of the water, you build a coffle dam. 
and uh, and to dry out the bottom to dig the muck off and to anchor the piers to the to the hard rock a coffle. And so, and so all this, uh, this poetry, you know, that's how they do poetry. They tease words into their different meanings. And the coffle of, of Lee, L-E. Uh, Lee is downwind. Lee, if you're downwind from the cough, Lee in. L-E-B, Lee in, downwind. The cough of Lee in, downwind, so... The look, E L K A, the look, Q S, the center to consume, the look cause, come oxum auric, from alchemy, from L H K M E, from alchemy, come oxum, the, the, to, to strengthen. Auric from alchemy, and so I looked up this uh, this oxum auric. So I looked up this this oxum auric, and this is what I got is is this uh, Oshun, and uh, this is ancient god of South America, a god of medicine of South America and uh, in Africa and other places around the world. Oxum Auric is, is Ocean. It's a warlike and aggressive. Uh, this Ocean is the Oxum. And, uh, and you read on down on this. She was a god of medicine, and she was uh, she was associated with uh, the mints, Lamacasia, Hydrocotosabella, this pennywort, and uh, and the Clancho panata. And so this hydrocodal pennywort is, is I believe, uh, is used for, for, um, is used for the symptoms of the flu, uh, the clancho panada is, uh, is for lesions of skin, ulcers, infections, leaves, plantar, are mashed or boiled and applied directly to affected area. Healers claim that the plant speeds healing while providing angelic analgesic relief to the patient. For illnesses such as head colds and influenza symptoms, caregivers usually boil boil the calancho leaf to make a topical poultice or administer extracts in warm drink. So the the go to cola. What's your go to? It's your heal all. The go to cola. There's another name for the pennywort. The hydrocodal is the, the pennywort. And uh this clancho pinata, native to Madagascar, is uh is a traditional medicine uh hypertension. Treatment of hypertension, kidney stones, headaches, the Creoles use it against inflammations and cancer, and its infusions as popular remedy for fevers. So this would be a couple uh, good ones to look into some natural remedies if uh, if you lost your job and your insurance and can't afford to go to the hospital and so there's a lot of hidden information in here that really makes you scratch your head and think about you know 
how much has been hidden from the history and uh and i'm gonna and i want to get on something else i'm gonna cut this off here but but i found this this word uh they say to hold to keep silent and uh and i accidentally run into this because the other place i found it is is with the the other s is in secrets You see here this, and it looked a lot like Jesus. The spelling of Jesus is uh, in the New Testament, in Greek I H S U S. But I've seen this E S U, and this is the S for secrets. They say be still or, or quiet. The secrets connected. And uh, and then here the to to J E S. To make the secrets, to make the secret quiet and still be quiet. You see it here. The ES, the secrets, keep silent. The secrets, don't tell the secrets. And I kind of figured out that this was hold thy tongue, the secrets. This was the base word for Jesus. And so, and so Jesus was here is is via J E S to make the secrets and I kind of figured out that the last U S in Jesus is is the other S for consume or to consume is means to use U S to use to make the secret use to Jesus and uh and I'm gonna look more into that and I'm gonna put that in the next movie but I'm gonna cut this one off here. Everybody be safe uh Get you some vitamin D, get you some sun, and uh, and yeah, it's probably wise to keep your distance from people. Uh, I'm I don't fear this. That I'm pretty sure most everything on the news is fake. Uh, I I look up in uh, on on YouTube, and most of the movies are being taken down. But uh, but there's a lot of people filming hospitals where they're just lying. The news comes on and says they're they're full, and when people go up to look, they're empty. There's nobody there. There's nobody getting tested, and so most of this is creating the news. And there's something else coming on. You know, I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon. When it does, they're going to come up with something else right behind it. But uh. It looks like there's some forces that's just working in governments around the world right now. And uh, and they're trying to keep us thrown off. Alright, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.